uh, are next in the list. Where's my Boucherlet? There's our Boucherlet. So, Boucherlet, it's the southernmost uh, region in Burgundy. Uh, and it's, it's also a lot warmer. Oh, I mean, as, as you go farther towards the equator, of course, it's going to be warmer. Um, now, Beaujolais grows a specific type of grape that you don't see much elsewhere in, in you know, grown in the world, which is Gamay. And that is, you know, 100% of what this grape uh, or what the, the wine is, is this Gamay grape. Now, is it, uh, in in three more months, uh, there's a, there's a, a bit of a, a a marketing event that that happens here in in Beaujolais uh, every third Thursday of November, where they release something called Beaujolais Nouveau, and it, it's it's said to that you're supposed to drink it uh, between when it's essentially released through May, which which is about you know, how long that stuff kind of stays good. <laughs> um, and the reason why is because it goes through something called carbonic maceration, which is kind of an odd, you know, way of, of you know, uh, fermenting those grapes. So instead of, you know, the, the, the usual method, which is to like crush, crush the grapes um, and then, you know, throw in either some yeast or use some or, or have native, uh, yeast that's in the air uh, start to ferment the, the juice with the skins maybe or maybe not um, around there. Instead, they just let the, the grapes kind of sit there. And that wild yeast that's around actually ferments the juice inside the grape. And But because it's in a, like a sealed container, um, all that's in there is carbon dioxide. And so it does some weird stuff to the yeast. Um, and so, and again, you know, then they, they, once it's fermented, then, then they'll press it down. Um, now what that does is it results in this like really kind of fruity with like low tannin uh, drink. And I don't know, uh, to me, it like the, the major note that you get off of it, you don't, even, I mean, you get a little bit of like red fruit, but, even before red fruit, all you get is like bubble gum. It, 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 it's such it's it's a it's a crazy thing that you know. Again, I'll I'll, I'll definitely be reminding people in in M Winos that you know Beaujolais Nouveau Day is is coming, and to to go find it, and that there's usually two producers of it, which is uh, uh, one of them is is De Bon, and uh, I, I I can't remember who who the other. Uh, the other producers, but it, there's usually two of them. There's one that usually does, uh, has like a purple label and one has a white label. Um, the thing is though, is that, so, you know, this Gamay grape, um, these days, you know, and, and it's, it's what made me go up there, uh, because well, one, uh, well, yeah, the, the, there's one place that's, that's starting to grow this Gamay grape. And it really kind of makes a lot of sense um, because it grows a lot of the Pinot Noir grape as well that makes Burgundy famous. And that place is Oregon. Um, because me, I, I really don't like Pinot, but I love Gamay uh, and I love Beaujolais. And that place, um, and so that that's what kind of brought like that was that was the only reason why I went to to Oregon to to try all of their wine was I was going around to all these places uh, for their single uh, Gamay, and then also trying all their Pinot Noir that still uh, I I didn't like. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, it it it, ha it has like those same kind of and, and that's the thing about Gamay is that. Uh, at least to me, it has a lot of those same fruit flavors of Pinot without that kind of like loamy dirt note. And our last place that we're going to be talking about is this here, which is Cote d'Or. 
So this is kind of like the, the most famous of the Burgundy regions. Um, Cote means side, and it refers to like a hillside or a slope. And Dor means of gold. So it kind of translates to something like golden slope or gold coast. Um, and what it really means is that each of these, I don't know if you can really see it uh, on this particular map, but right to the west of each of these areas is this like is, is actually like a pretty big mountain range. Um, and you know, Cote de Bone, Cote de Nui, uh, both of them, you know, that that's exactly what they have is you know the the kind of mountain range of uh, Nui, uh, I can't remember what the, the actual partial name of it is, but um, yeah. So, but our, you know, the, the Pinot that, that we're going to be having today actually comes from the Bonn region. So I'll be kind of focusing there, but this Northern area, um, be aware that it has the uh, Vosni Romani vineyard which is home to the Domain Romani Conti, which for us Psalms is belovedly called DRC. So if you ever hear, hear DRC, um, it's kind of a, an amazing thing. Uh, mostly, I mean, a lot of it is, is you know, just the, the talk of it. Um, but if you look up like some of the most expensive wine in the world, it comes from uh, Romani Conti. Like, you know, Pinot Noir that, that was released this year will start out at like $1,200 to $1,500 a bottle. And then it just, and then, you know, people kind of invest in it and uh, it just only, it only goes up from there. Um, and cut the bone, cut the bone. Let's see if I have a, yeah. And so here is, Côte de Bon. Uh, they mostly make you know, Chardonnay and Pinot Noir and the Bon region, which is you know, where we're going to be uh, tasting our Pinot from, which is you know, kind of like near, near the top. Now, this, this is one of the things with, uh, when you start to see like village wine, you know, which looks like villages, um, what that kind of means is, so as you're looking at, at these areas, some of them have just like one name to them, like uh, Mersal. But then you have this uh, Poligny uh, Montrachet. That dash on the end of it is because most likely uh, these places have a Grand Cru uh, vineyard within them. And a lot of these places will call themselves not just the name of the village or like, like Poligny, uh, is that they'll tack on the the kind of name of whatever the the you know most famous vineyard is from that area to kind of be like yeah you know th this other place makes really really good stuff you know we're not too bad either <laughs> but oh yeah and and as you can kind of see here um, the you know Cote de Bon which is, you know, that, that mountain range that's, you know, just to the uh, west of, you know, this whole set of vineyards here. 